Here's the situation. You have a filterable spreadsheet. What you need is a way to count visible data based on a criteria. Like subtotal count if would work if Excel had that function. So let's take a look at this example. Here I have my regions. Here I have my age of the invoice, the number of days, and the invoice date. And what I'm interested in is counting only if this condition is true. I only want to count the ones that are greater than or equal to 12. In this cell I use the regular count if function that Excel does have and it works correctly. 8. But if I come over here and I use the filter and I want to look at say just New York, it stays 8 because it evaluates the entire set whether it's visible or not. And I need a way for this to update and just work on what's visible. Now that group of subtotal functions that Excel does have works on uh, visible data. So I know that's going to be part of my solution. And here's the solution I came up with. I'm using the subtotal function right here with number 3 as the first argument which is the count A or count non-blank cells. This offset part is just going to force it to evaluate each cell individually. So this first array from here all the way over to here is going to store in memory either a 0 or a 1. A 0 if it's not visible and a 1 if it is visible. And I'm using the sum product. And the way the sum product works is it's going to take the result of the first array, multiply it by the equivalent result of the second array, and then go down cell by cell and add them all together. So let's look at the second array. The second array is my condition. Quite simply, it's the entire set greater than or equal to 12. Now this array is going to want to return trues and falses, the word or the text true or false. I can't use that in multiplication. I need numbers. So by putting the double negative in front of this, it forces the trues to be ones and the falses to be zeros. So if you think about this, let's think about the first array first. If the cell is not visible, it's going to return a zero. At that point, it doesn't matter because a zero times anything is zero. But if it is visible, it's going to return a one. Then it's going to come over here to find the equivalent cell here or value here and if it's true it's going to be also a 1 so a 1 times a 1 is 1 then it's going to move down to the next cell and it's going to do it again if it happens to be a 0 a 1 times a 0 is a 0 when it gets all the way to the bottom it adds it all together and that's how it's getting this answer it's 8 which matches this answer so I know I could use this formula not only for filtered but unfiltered as well so now I come over here and I choose a filter I want to look at New York and see if it's working I do a visual scan and I can see that there's one, two, three that are greater than my condition and that is the answer it came up with which means it's working. Over here I had to make a slight adjustment because I have the dates not the number of days. Here's the only thing I changed. It's today's date minus 11 and today's date is found in cell A9. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.